Hey up guys, welcome back to the Latana Army, I'm Latana and today we're playing Fortnite. Uh, this is the base, uh, the Storm Shield base, so this is my own little base that I've got. And if you can see at the top, you might not be able to see from my camera, in fact you can. Uh, I'm actually currently at rank 12, so at level 12. And as you can see I've got nothing around my base at the minute, that's because I've just this minute dismantled it all. So that we can build it afresh, because I didn't like the way that I started out. Uh, which I'm guessing is going to be something a lot of you do. So what you do is hit Q. And then we get this little crafting thing that comes up here. So we hit Q, we go into build mode, and we can right click and change the type of material that we've got that we're going to build with. So I think I'm going to build mine out of metal, because it's quite an important bit, this isn't it, it's the actual base. So I'm going to build like a little perimeter around my base. So all you do is get the bit where you want it and then just click. I'm playing this on mouse and keyboard. Alright, and I might use my materials up too quickly here, so... We'll just build until we're ready, and then I'll show you some other bits on the uh, UI on what you can do as well. Now with this bit, we need to build a wall around it. So if I get the front here, you press R to rotate things. So if it's in the wrong way or in the wrong position, you just press R and move it around. But for this, we'll just face this way. And if you press G, what you'll find is it breaks the little wall up into squares. And you can just click these squares to bits like where you want to build and where you don't. Now for this, I want to build a door, so I just put these two disappeared, hit G again, then confirm the build. And that'll build the same section of wall, but with a door. Now to make that again, because I don't want doors everywhere, I just put, press G again, fill them back in, G again, and click. And then I've got a normal wall there without a door. So let's just put those all the way around, if we can. I kind of neglected the basic start because I didn't really understand it. So what I'm trying to do now in this video is kind of share what I've learned um, and what I've got from it and what makes a good base. Alright, so you'll notice at the back we've got a bit of room, but don't worry about that. I'll get to how we can fix that in a bit. So that's all the walls there. So even though there's no foundation there, we can still build a cross. We can go that way. There we go. Now if you've already built a part with a, a bit in it, it's fine. You can hit G. And you can still put the door in without having to knock the whole thing down. Just hit G again. And that's it. And then you've got a back door there. So you've got two sets of doors. So look we'll Q. So we've got a place there with an entrance at the back. And if you look, it just builds gradually over time. It's really good, the mechanic on the building on that. And all you do to get inside the door then is press E. And you can go through the door. And we're inside. It shuts automatically, so don't worry about standing there and closing that. And then we go into this side again. Go around, press E, and then we're through. Simple. So what we're going to do, we'll put some flooring outside. So we'll hit Q, and then this is the metal flooring again. So I'll just put three there. Now, same principle with the wall. So you hit G, and say you just want to build a little bit of a barricade. I mean, you can build them however you want. I mean, you, there's quite a lot of... Uh, like scope for building on there, but we're just going to build a little bit like this. There we go. And my plan is that that's going to funnel them in. Now, if you want to build a trap, you hold over the area that you want, press T, and then you build like your traps in there. Now you can see that I've only got a little wooden trap, which isn't very good. So, what we're going to do to get away from that is we're going to press, go into our inventory. Okay, and up here you'll see we've got a list along the top. So you click traps there. And we want floor traps, really. So we want something like... These spikes are pretty good. Um, so we'll craft some of those. And it tells you what you need for these as well. You just go to inspect. If you go to inspect. And then you click crafting on the side. And it tells you there. Look, you need nuts and bolts, rough ore, and some rusty mechanical parts. That is all you need to build your floor traps. So now when I press T over here instead, I've got the spikes. And I'll just put them there. So that's pretty decent. So they're pretty good spikes on there. So we don't want to put any other traps down, I don't think, just yet. Now what I want to do inside is just build some steps up the top. If I just do that there. So if you go across the queue, you can see there F3 is the stairs. Now, let's do a little roof thing first. So we'll put that up there like that. Put this one here. And then we'll make the stairs... Like that, then we can get all the way around. How much metal have we got left? 370. So we might not be able to get all the way around here, but we're going to do our best. Ah, oh, there we go. And then what we could do is build maybe the half wall just to show that's the end. Might be a bit ambitious there, though. 
Well, let's try it. So, G, so we'll get rid of those, and we just want the bottom ones on there. So, G. Let's just do the... Let's just do a bit. We can always destroy this later on, like I've done a couple of times now. There you go. Now, one thing that we have got, we have got a defender pad that I'm going to show you next. So, if you've got defenders at your base, which you may have, may not have... And what you can do is you can put these pads down. So I'm going to show you what they are now. So if I press I and I craft this defender pad. Let me just see if I can find it on here first. Ah, here it is, look. So the defender post. So we'll craft that. So it's there at the bottom. Again, you can level that up just like you can the other stuff. And I'm going to put mine here. And again, I'm not certain this is the best place. But floor, defender post. And we're going to put that there. Right, so what I can do now is I can choose a defender to go on here. I just hold down E. And I'm going to go with this one, because that's my highest level person. Double click them. Excellent. And then we have to drop a gun down for them. Now, do I have a sniper rifle? That's the thing. So press I. Let's have a look. We'll look in our weapons. We actually have. So if we go on to the, where she is, all you have to do is drop it. So I click it there and just press yeah, X to drop it. Sniper rifle. That's it. And they've got it. Thanks for the weapon, Commander. Okay, and they should have ammo as well, but you can do the same. Oh, they've only got one bullet. That's not going to help much. So if I press X again, and I'll give her half the ammo because I've got tons. She'll only use the ammo that she can, so I'm just going to drop all different types there. Ammo. There you go. Look, so she's picked up the type that she needs. And then we can pick up the rest of the other bits. And we can have them back. If I can get the menu right there. Harder to pick up because I'm on the uh, I'm on the thing now. Oh, pick it up. Oh, there you go. So if we zoom in on it, we can do that. And she'll patrol this area now. And then if anything comes up here, then she'll be there to, to fight it off. I think she just stays on these three panels. So eventually what we want to do is get another defender panel here. Which we'll put, and we'll maybe put one there so we can shoot down this way. In fact, let's break that off now so we can remember for later on. Go. There we go. So that's broken off now. And we'll put a defender panel in there. Just repair that because we've just broke it trying to do that. And then maybe another one at the other side. So maybe this would be a good spot for another one. You hit on that sweet spot on the little circle as well. What that'll do, that'll mean that you can uh, you get the best hit, hit rate out of it. So rather than do 20 damage, you'll do like 50 damage, for example. Then we'll do another one at this side, I think in here. And you can, if you get good, maybe do like watchtowers, which I'm going to do later on. So, but we'll do that in later videos. So we'll make like little watchtowers in the corners. But for now, these should be bang on. So we'll put, we'll have one defender here. We'll have another defender here. And then one over there. And then the last thing I'll show you on the video. So this base looks a lot, lot better now. So if we go down to this console, hold down E. Now, what you've got on here, sometimes you're going to want people on there doing your base up with you. So what you need to do is just go into the uh, the area that you've got, and you can see down here, so shield, go to permissions, and there you'll have a list of people, and all you need to do is give them permission, and then they can start editing and making up your base and helping you with it. All right, and then the other section is storage, and you can put stuff there. So I've got some bullets stored there, look. So if I want to get them back, all I do is hit transfer, and just put max... Withdraw, and then I've got them bullets now in my in my backpack. The other way, don't get this mixed up with switch panel. All switch panel does, it just moves it across. So then you one minute I'm in storage, then I'm in inventory. So I can just switch between the two. Um, like I said, and that just makes it a little bit easier. So if we go back up here, if you remember we started with absolutely nothing. And then that, right there, is our new base with our defender on top. Um, you can put traps down around the sides, you know, around the edges, which is probably a good idea. Um, for when you're doing the bases later on. But the, st the things that you craft um, in game, so when you're doing missions and you're gathering stuff, this is exactly the kind of, like, your leftover resources tend to go on here. But the higher level you get, the harder these missions get, and your base will get destroyed, and you will find yourself repairing it. So if this has been helpful, guys, make sure that you leave a like down below. If you want to know any more about, um, you know, your base and your storm shield and how to manage that and manage things inside it, just put in the comments below. And if you're not part of the Latana army already, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.